Hey, what's up, YouTube? We're here for another What Sold video. We forgot to do a What Sold video last week. <laughs> we sold like, I don't know, seven or eight things you didn't get to see. But uh, this is what we sold over the weekend. Uh, we actually sold eight more items, but they haven't been paid for. Don't know if they will be, but one of them was a Nirvana shirt for 100 bucks, And another one was uh, five snapback hats for like 100 bucks. So hopefully they get paid for. But let's go over the stuff that did get paid for. We sold this Bo Hopkins autograph we paid five dollars for on ebay several years ago and uh, we sold it for 23 dollars i'm starting to sell some of my extra sports cards i have so many of them i just don't have room for them anymore and i need some money for some more postage stamps to send out to some guys i need for my sets so we've been selling some of our extras we sold this for 9.99 we probably have a dollar 99 in it costs like a dollar to send it to them and a dollar for the card probably Rituals, we bought this for 50 cents and we sold it for $14. We found a Ross Perot shirt, had never been worn. We paid $2 for it and we sold it for $25.49. Guys, go back and watch that video where I picked up all these PSA graded cards. I basically got them for nothing. Guy gave me five bucks and uh, all these cards and a bunch of other cards. For something I wanted 25 bucks for that pretty much I had nothing in. Didn't even really care about them. But we sold this Wally Joiner For uh, $21.76. We have about a dollar in it maybe. That Ross or Marge, Roger Maris is a 2001 card. PSA 4. It's a horrible grade. I've never thought anybody would buy it. So I just threw it up for $9.99 plus shipping. So I got $15.26 for it with shipping. We sold this. Uh, Bears, Grateful Dead, 1992, vintage t-shirt. We paid $1.99 for it. We sold it for $250.49. We sold 73, no, 37 1972 cards. Uh, like I said, we're trying to get rid of We started putting some of them in teams, not team sets, but year sets, like starter sets. And we're going to do that for every single year. So keep an eye out for, you know, if you're collecting a set, you know, have like an 87 top set, starter set and stuff. So we sold this one for $117.99. We probably had about $64 in it in the cards and shipping and stuff. Here's uh, Craig Skok. We paid $1.25 for this on eBay. We sold it for $17.59. We were in auction one time. We bought a bunch of Reds hats for $4 a piece. We thought we overpaid at the time. But I ended up selling one of the hats for $125, so I made up all the money there. But we ended up selling this one for $40. Bucks. So basically we have 4 bucks in the hat. We bought this from a card store. No, actually, this came from my buddy. You saw that huge collection I bought last year. We did really well on the collection and uh, pretty much have nothing in this now. Sold it for $25.70. Sold another team set, not team set, but year set, 1979, 108 different signed cards. We sold it for $235.60. We probably had $125 in it. And these PSA cards just keep giving. Like I said, we ended up pretty much have nothing in these things. And we sold this one for $19.99. Picked up this Cabin in the Sky DVD. Picked that up at a pawn shop for a dollar. It was sealed. We got $13.69 for it. And always look out for these big box horror movies. Kind of the freakier the better if you haven't seen them. Pick them up because they usually do pretty well. We paid $0.50 cents for this. And we sold it for $33.19. So I forgot to do the math on all this. But I would say we probably 10 times our money like we usually do. Five, six. I don't know. There's probably eight hundred to a thousand dollars for the stuff there, and we probably have about less than, you know. Let's see. Two. We have less than two hundred fifty dollars, and it's probably like eight hundred dollars worth of stuff. So, we did pretty well. Definitely be on the lookout for these vintage T-shirts, man. This, like I said. I just grabbed this because it was cool looking. It had some, uh, had these bears on it. Can't really tell here, but those look like the Grateful Dead bears to me. So that's why I grabbed it. 
It just said uh, LL, LL Bear Summer or something. So I thought it was like an LL Bean like parody shirt or something. And I just picked it up because it was single stitch and really cool looking. Didn't even look it up. I just grabbed it. Then I started putting it on eBay and I was like, holy crap. Somebody had one for $500. There had been some sold for like two to two fifty. dollars So I held out for my two fifty. dollars I had a bunch of low ballers at 200 And I kept turning them down. And uh, I told my wife, I said, I'm not going to sell that for less than two fifty. dollars it will, it will eventually sell. So it took a couple weeks and a lot of low ball offers. But we finally got our two fifty dollars for it. All right, guys, that's everything we sold. Uh, well, like I said, we sold eight more things, but they weren't paid for. This is everything that was sold and paid for. Have a good one, guys. Until next time, peace.